Hello, welcome to Financial Friday. So I and my family, of course, have been attempting to be more financially intentional. Gotta love that. So what does intentional mean? That means um, we're attempting to do the best we can to stick to the budget or plan for our money. So um, this once in a while can be very interesting, especially within a family life. Um, maybe you have children who are growing like weeds, they call them here in America. So they're growing so fast you can't keep clothes on them long enough to make the value of buying them worth it. Um, maybe you have children who are close to starting college so you have that expense either on yourself or on them depending on how you have planned it. Um, maybe you know you just got thrown a curveball and don't have a job right now, whether planned that way, whether unforeseen circumstances due to the economy and the situations we're living in in 2020, or maybe it's something where you weren't prepared and you were at the bottom of the totem pole and you were the first one let go because they don't have enough work for the crew that they have. So there's lots of dynamics and all of that plays into our finances and planning ahead. And unfortunately, we can't plan for everything. God tells us in his word, don't worry about tomorrow because you don't even know if you'll have one. But at the same time, you still need to be proactive for your future. So one of the things that I have started doing is diversifying our method of earning an income within our family. So we all have hobbies and passions. Can we do them and make money with them? We all have lots of stuff laying around our house. Do we use it? If not, sell it. Somebody else might be able to benefit more from it. And then we have our general jobs that we may rely on for our financial life. So just look at your life and see can you diversify it? Can you kind of put more money in your bank just being at home? Or do you need to go and look for maybe a side hustle, hobby job type idea? Look around, come back next week and see what we gotta do next for our financial freedom.